So now what we need to do is that we need to make a request and send that text that the user is going to type. So in order to send it, we need to make a get request. So I'm going to here use uh, jQuery to do that. So I'm going to here use uh, dollar sign and then get to make a get request. And then this get is going to take the URL. The URL, I'm going to name it get. And of course, this URL must be created in our Flask application. But for now, we don't have that root yet. But we need to create shortly. We need to create later. We need to create this for slash get. And this get this uh, get request is going to take the message that the user is going to type, which is the user text, which is this. So I'm going to say here, in an object, we need to first to use the name. The name is user message. This is very, very important. It must be here user message. Here it must be user message. And then the message itself, which is the user text. So user message and then the message, the uh, user text, user text. And then after that, we just call the done, done. And then we, uh, upon done here, we, we will pass a, I'm going to pass a, a callback function to let us know that to return actually a, the, uh, a response. So the response can be here data, can be named data. So this callback function will be sent upon uh, success and it will get it will uh, it will send us a the data here in in the in this function as a parameter and then we can use this we can use this uh, data in order to display um, in order to display a an HTML inside our uh, the inside our chat box here so I'm going to use this data to get the data and display it so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use the, I'm going to make a reference to our chat box again, chat box, and then I'm going to say, I'm going to say here dot append, and then append, and then I need to append the data. But this data, this data um, cannot just, we can't just pass it here. It's not going to look amazing. Therefore, we need to pass it inside a HTML. So I'm going to create an HTML and pass this data into our uh, HTML. So I'm going to create here a variable called uh, bot HTML, which is the response from the chatbot. Because again, once we send, once the user sends the message to Flask, what's going to happen is that Flask is going to use this get response and send that response, which is the chat response to the user and that chat response is is this data it's just this data so we need to um, here we need to use p paragraph and then inside that paragraph I'm gonna again use span span and then span and this remember span this um, this p this paragraph has a class called but but text but text remember we have here but text so it must be but text to in order to uh, in order for this uh, paragraph to have the same exact design and then we need here to pass the data here plus plus and then I'm gonna pass the data in between data here data And finally, I'm going to pass the data here in the uh, chat box, but text. I'm going to pa pass not the data, but the, the but HTML, because it, it contains the data as well as the tags. So it, it's going to look amazing. And we are done with this part. Let me add here semicolon with this part. But something very important we need to do is calling this function. We created this function, but we did not call it. So it's useless un until we call it. So when when should I call this function? Well, this function should be called upon clicking on the send button or upon hitting the enter key on our key on the user's key keyboard, right? Because once the user clicks on send or hits the uh, enter keyboard, we need to call this get response get user response and execute this function to get 
to get the data from the user, to get the uh, text from the user, and also to take care of all of this, uh, or all of these things. So we need here to do that. So I'm gonna here again. I'm gonna use jQuery here to accomplish that. So I'm gonna make um, make a reference to the text text input text input, and then I'm gonna say dot dot key press key press, and then here function the callback function function and then e e the event and then what we need to do is that we need to check the first check the key that the user has clicked on if the user clicks here e dot which to check which button which uh, button the user clicked on if the user clicked on button number 13 which is the the enter button if the user hits the enter button then we need to call the get get user get user response and we also want we also want to add a um, to make reference to make another reference to the button to the button here button input button input because we also want to execute the same function once the user clicks on the button once the user clicks on this send so I'm gonna say here button input and then click and then function function and then upon um, upon calling the callback function I'm just going to use the get user response I'm gonna just call the get user response to send to send the message and take care of everything so now we are done with the JavaScript part which is just gonna take the the um, data from the user and also it's gonna display it here and it's gonna make a request so it's gonna make a lot of things but this is the JavaScript part